Welcome to another Microsoft Word video. Today, our last one, we're talking about our layout tab. Okay, we've only got really three tools here. We're not doing, well, size, I'll show you size too. Four tools and we're done. So the first thing we gotta talk about is most important, margins. Okay, if you look really closely, there's this white area, then it goes to this gray area. If you notice, my words can't go across that white area. If I click right over here, we can see my two arrows. And I'll drag that down, see so the gray area is getting bigger. My words scoot down, okay? That gray line, the gray boundary, is the line that controls where my text can and can't go. If you notice, there's a space over here that I can't use either. If I move the gray boundary up here, my whole text moves over that way, okay? It's the same thing. See how my words over here are getting cut off? If I move this this way, that gray area is getting bigger, that margin is getting bigger, okay? So that, these are what are called margins we're dealing with. It's our first button. So your instructions will say something like change the margins to narrow. Okay, that one's an easy one. Just whatever it says to change it to, change to that. The other thing you'll see is either you'll change it to what's called custom margins, and it'll tell you exactly what to have each be. Okay, so there's, there's four margins, top, bottom, left, and right. That's the only ones we worry about in this class. Okay. So it'll tell you exactly what to change it to, then you hit OK, and it'll change those margins into exactly what you want them to be. That's margins. Orientation, very simple. Default is portrait, going up and down. Landscape is left to right. So if you've ever were doing pictures or some sort of reports where this was the way you were going to like work on your assignment or turn this in, um, this is how it, this is how it'll run. So if the instructions say to change orientation to portrait or landscape, all you gotta do is click right here and change it to whatever it tells you to change it to. Size is very simple. Um, this is just, if you're dealing with a different size of paper, okay, our, our regular size of paper is 8.5 by 11. That's how much, that's what an average, your standard piece of paper is, okay? This is eight and a, eight and a half inches by 11 and a half, 11 inches, okay? That's how much a standard piece of paper is. It's been the size for a long time. If you were printing, on, if you were printing a piece of paper onto another side of the paper, you'd want to change the size of the paper so that it looks good on when you actually print it out. If you're doing everything digitally, then the size doesn't super matter. Columns, last but not least. Okay, I'm gonna highlight this quote right here. It's kind of long. And so I'm actually gonna change the column to two columns. So it kind of splits up the quote into two sections, okay? One more time, in case you miss it. First, you highlight the quotes, go up to columns, and whatever, how many ever columns I tell you to split it into, that's how many you split it into. That, my friends, is the end of our video today. That's the end of our layout tab. You now should know home, insert, design, layouts. Great job. Congratulations. Um, feel free to rewatch the videos if I went too fast or if you need more practice. And that is all for Microsoft Word for now. Have a great day.